Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Well, today I have another box. I have several that should be trickling in after Black Friday sales, but this one is extra special because this is something I truly love. And this is my Erin Condren. Yep, you're probably saying, gee, she needs another Erin Condren product like she needs another hole in her head, right? And you're probably right. But I want to share with you what I have here. And like I said, it was a great deal, okay? And also, I want to feature a small business actually to do with planning as well because it's so important that we support these small businesses. So if you're interested in seeing what I have here and what that business is, please stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. So as I was saying that I do have another Eric Condren box and I also want to feature a small shop from Etsy that I really love and somebody that has almost 26,000 per uh, sales and still has a five star. So this person is, you know, worth knowing. So I want to go ahead and do that. But before I do any of that, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my phone and I will go ahead and, um, Look for a motivation for us. Motivation app. And let's see now. Okay, today. <laughs> okay, there you go. I hope that's in focus. And it says sometimes you need to burn bridges in order to stop yourself from crossing them again. Wow, that's pretty insightful. I'm going to put a heart on that one. Yeah. Sometimes you need to burn bridges in order to stop yourself from crossing them again. You know, that is so darn true. Let me tell you. And you know how they always say don't burn bridges because you may need to recross them? Well, some bridges aren't meant to be recrossed again. And so it's really important that whatever it is, you end it. And, um, you know, that's, it's huge more in a professional world when you hear that, right? Don't burn bridges, don't burn bridges. You know, but sometimes you may not ever want to be tempted to come back to an employer. And so you may go ahead and burn that bridge. Probably not a smart thing to do in a corporate world because, you know, word does get around. But I think this is more to do with, you know, your uh, personal life. And maybe you, you're in an abusive relationship or maybe you're in a relationship that you're not happy with and they're not very nice to you. Or whatever the case may be. Or maybe a family member that is just so destruct destructive to your mental health that it's really detrimental to your own health by being around them. And sometimes... Things like that happen, unfortunately, and you do have to burn those bridges. And burning a bridge doesn't mean burn it down, blow it up. No, it means end it. I mean, you can easily burn a bridge by just saying, you know, I can't, I can't do this. You're not productive for me. And you do it in a polite way, okay? And you don't have to do this in a destructive way. And I would advise against you doing it in a destructive way, but be grown up about it. Let them know the truth, why, and move on from there, okay? Alrighty then. All right, let me just check my message real quick because I heard something coming across here. Uh, let's see. I'm doing this on my lunch break, so yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and just say, okay. Hold on one minute. Okay, sorry about that. I had to answer that call because like I said, I am doing this on my lunch hour, but it's okay. All right, so anyway, let's get going with this box. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and then I will go ahead and show you what I have. And now that I moved everything around to look at my computer, I will have to re-scratch, re scratch re restructure everything again so everything don't go tumbling down because I have the examples of the things that uh, from the small business. So yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm a little discombobulated here. And so, and plus this box being this big doesn't help at all. Anyway, so I'm sure, okay, it came just like this because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of loose stuff. And let's see what's going on here. And I also ordered a surprise box actually from Erin Contram, which is a winter box. And I'm really waiting for that one. I was hoping that's what this was, but no, it's not. This was actually a, a huge 30% uh, off. And I don't 
don't know why I buy my planner early on and don't wait till the 30%, but I think it's because I need to have it all planned before this time. So yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. What is this here? Oh, it has a 2021 holiday gift guide and she always sends actually a 20% off coupon with your purchases. And so yeah, that's that. And let me tell you, the first thing I received is my another, of course, uh, yeah, another journal. It's not a journal. This is a notebook. And I did have my name printed on here. And the reason why I wanted this is because I'm doing some projects and I do not have this format. And this is in a graph paper format. I don't know if you can see that. But all my other ones are either dots or um, a productivity or just a straight line. So I did order this one. And in case you don't know, um, the inside of the cover on all of the notebooks are actually whiteboards. And you use a uh, dry eraser mark, is it? Is it dry eraser? Wet erase markers, not dry erase, because you want to make sure it doesn't rub off. So you need water to get it off. And so both of these sides are like this. Um, yeah, like that. And you can also put a photograph of yourself in a back cover if you wanted to. I didn't with this one because this is just a notebook. And also in the back, it comes uh, with uh, stickers and like this, label stickers. And they all come like that. And that's that. And then the next thing I wanted to get is this one here. It's called pocket scissors. And these are scissors. And look. And from what I understand, these are really good scissors. And the reason why is because my husband keeps using my scissors on stuff and it won't cut my stuff really good anymore. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of guilty of that too. We both are. And so I thought this is cute to leave in my pencil bag. And so that way I can only use it on my planners. Okay, and the next thing is this fine tip wet eraser marker. This is what I was just telling you about that you can use this actually to write on the... Um, on the back of the flaps and these are fine tip because I do have like a thick one so it's fine tip so that way I can write words the other ones are like way too thick and it's used for like a whiteboard and so I'm really you know I'm really trying to get organized here uh yeah and I don't have these so I decided you know what I could use it it makes my planning a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and get them so that's that and then the next one that goes right into my planner, as you notice how it's like this, is this snaps right into a planner. And this is like a checklist. And I really want one, but I don't want to keep wasting paper because I do a lot of checklists. And so I decided to get this along with this so that way I can write all my checklists and I just get a wet paper towel or a cotton swab and clean it off and reuse it over and over. So I'm trying to be a little more responsible. And then on the back is a dot grid. I don't know if you can see those tiny dots, but this is great because it's two-sided. It's called a checklist dashboard. And you just clip it into your planner. Yeah, and this is great. And the next thing is, oh, this is a free gift actually. And it looks like this week's priorities it's a little post-it and you post this, you write on it, you know, whatever you have this week's priorities to do, notes, track, there's even a habit tracker here as well. And I love these and you just, you know, the since this is a post-it 3M post-it type, you just peel it off and stick it wherever and you'll see it. So you know, you always have your to do and your priorities in front of you, okay? And I think she sent a couple of, and another one here, this is a, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It has that up there, the dates up here, and you put your, you know, the week or whatever. And then this is all your list, and you can, you know, put grocery list or whatever. And this is also a post-it, and this was also a free gift with purchase. And so she always throws in something like that. So, yeah. And the next thing here is my me metallic gel pens. And there it is, and I use this a lot, a lot. And now uh, let me show you. Uh, right now I have these going, you see? And these are all my metallic gel pens, but they are some of these are getting pretty low. And so I said, you know what, they're on sale, so I'm gonna go ahead and order them. And so I got that. And the next thing I got was is the You Can Never Have Too Many Friends. And this is a sticker book and it's a Hello Kitty one. And they're so cute. And they have really cute stickers, but they're not really um, big on functional stickers. They have really nice cute stickers. And you can you kind of decorate your pages with it. And I'll show you what I do so you can see it. And um, 
Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Be a hero for the planet. Do you see that? These are little stickers. Oh my goodness. And these are all the friends. This is Kiropi. This is my favorite actually, Kiropi. So it's my daughter's favorite too out of that. And this is Bats, I think. Yeah. And these are all Hello Kitty and friends of Hello Kitty. And oh, look at this, Chocolat. This character is called Chocolat. Aw, and let's see. Oh, I, I forgot which one this is. One of my uh, attorney friends. This is her favorite, actually. I forgot what it's called. What is it? Oh, my melody. That's it. My melody. And this is Tuxedo Sam. It's uh, yeah. And this is Pochoco. This is a little puppy. And let's see. And of course, these are. This is a little what? A uh, little twinkle star shot. Yeah, there we go. And there's, these are all Sam Rio characters, but there's like tons of them. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll show you the Hello Kitty one. And also the one at the end, I think it's all of the friends together. There it is. Okay. And so, yeah, I really like them and they were on sale. So I got it. And the last thing I picked up, that's why the box is so big. I didn't think this was that big. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, really? And I did have my name printed on it. I don't know if you can see that right there. Okay. And I have some of these for my computer bag, but this is actually supposed to be a, um, for my pen, isn't it? It's a pen folio, ultimate pen folio. I didn't realize it was this big. Oh, wow. Anyways, here it is with the beautiful wildflowers. This is what I chose. And you see the rose gold, the beautiful rose gold um, zipper thing here. And the whole zipper is beautiful rose gold. And if you want to get organized, guys, I mean, this is a great, great way to do it. And here it is. Oh, my gosh. I can. Wow. Okay. And this is where you can put all your, um, I guess, your note stuff. And this is where your pens go. As you notice, these are all separated. And oh my and then the oh this comes out it's like a, okay and you can put a bunch of other stuff in the back here wow this is the ultimate pen folio and guess what i think i paid like 20 dollars for this thing and it's like usually um a lot more than that and i also have um uh the erin condren points and i know a couple of you have ordered through erin condren using my code and thank you guys so much for that because i spend a ton of money there and it doesn't give me money, but it does give me points. And when I get points, I can collect my points um, to get discounts uh, for future like purchases. And so it's really, really helpful. And thank you so much for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, link below again for you guys in case you're interested. And she still is having a 30% sale. And yeah, so it's actually a great deal, especially uh, because these are made in the USA, the paper products and and also um, they're very heavyweight paper and they do not bleed through and that's what I love about it. I cannot stand a planner that bleeds through and yeah. And so let me show you my planner. I think I unboxed this for you. It says you go girl and there it is. This is my planner that I bought earlier. I unboxed this uh, several months ago but I'm gonna show you um, how I plan out my year, right? Okay, here's an example of a January page. And the reason why I want to show you this is because, like I said, um, the uh, Erin Condren, they're good for like some of the stickers, but some of the specific ones, it's very hard to get. And like this here, you see where it says book club? I actually had that specially made from this independent Etsy person. And here's one that says payday. And so that way, you know, I know when I'm getting paid. And let's see, and keep track of my stuff. And also, let me show you like my February layout. This is um, this is for February 2022. I have like cursory, I have a little already put together. And then um, I will show you like what I do with my extra pages. And I put stickers, you see? These, they come blank and I'll show you how they come on one of the months that's not done so you can see what I do to it. Um, okay, they come like this, okay? You notice one side is blank, this side, and this comes just simply like this. But what I do is I do this because this way I can personalize it for what I want it for. You notice I made my own grid and yeah. And so this is how I keep myself happy. 
and, and I put all of my good things, my positive things, my goals, my project, this month, next month, and this is what allows me to keep my life together. And believe me, without this, I would be all over the place because you know me, right? Yeah. So anyway, the company I wanted to tell you about is um, Shooting Star Stickers, and it's in Etsy. And this is the company here. I'll also leave a link to the uh, to the bottom. This is a very small one-person company, and she makes these stamps. And I like how look at the details on these, and these are such great. Um, functional stickers and another thing too if you want something made and you want it on another corner like this I want it on a top left corner but if I wanted something on a bottom right corner she will make that as well and so it's really nice and let's see if I could show you some other things uh let's see uh, that you know I had her make and like this like me time right me time and I, I make sure I schedule a me time for me nowadays because I want my me time and I'm not that, that's non-negotiable that's <laughs> non-negotiable and so let's see the other one oh and this one I had her make for me and this is on the top left as well and this is my book club stickers so when I do book club I want to make sure that I don't miss that day so I flag my days and along with the, another thing about her company is that she, since she custom makes things, she has unique things that I can't get anywhere else or nobody seems to be making. And um, you know how like when you go to church or read the Bible, maybe you might want to remind yourself and you stick that sticker on there. She also makes mosques. And this is so nice because that way I can pinpoint when I went on an activity there or when I went to worship there. And this is always great for like Ramadan and times like that. So yeah, and um, check her out if you're interested in stickers. And she has fun, fun things, not only functional things. So yeah, and also when I go on vacation, guess what? I'm going to be using my airplane sticker on my planner to show I'm leaving. And then right next to it, I write my flight name, number, and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. But like I said, she has like over 25,000, I think, 25 and a half thousand. And she has um, reviews and uh, sales and has five star stuff. And great, I've never read anything bad about her. And so please do support the local businesses if you're into something like this, okay? Alrighty then, my beautiful wildflowers. I hope you enjoyed it. And if I added any value, please hit like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit a subscribe button, ring the bell, and hit all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. So I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or good weekend. Whenever you're watching this, it does not matter. But just remember, in a field of roses, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, I left my glasses on the whole time. Oh, dang it. Oh, I got my nails done. Look. I got that done today. Likey, likey. Yeah, it's different. It should be pink, but yeah, it's kind of hard with the, you know, with the light. But anyway, guys, have a great day, okay? Bye.